Generating traffic and sales can be a challenge for online merchants. But selling on the Walmart marketplace puts your products in front of millions of customers who shop on walmart.com. And right now, sellers who join Walmart Marketplace can save up to 50% on referral and fulfillment fees for the first 90 days. So get started today. Head over to marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. That's marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. Welcome to E-Commerce Conversations, a podcast by Practical E-Commerce. Welcome to E-Commerce Conversations. My name is Kerry Murdoch. Practical E-Commerce's inaugural conference is just a few months away in Dallas in September. The opening keynote will be delivered by John Lawson. John's an e-commerce entrepreneur, consultant, and a noted speaker. His topic is social selling. He joins us today to discuss the keynote and that topic. Well, John, thank you for your time today. No problem. John, we are excited that you have agreed to deliver our opening keynote for Ignite, our inaugural conference this September in, in Dallas. We're very honored that, that you'll be speaking to our attendees. Uh, your topic that you're going to be speaking on, I believe you've called it the Beyonce Principle, Social Selling Funnel for Massive Results. My question for you, John, is why that topic? Why did you pick that topic? Well, uh, back in uh, December 2013, Beyonce released an album totally untraditionally. She did it by putting out one post on Instagram and a post on Facebook, and that is it. And within 72 hours, she broke the record of Internet sales or just sales on iTunes. And she did that by building a tribe, having a list of people, and then pushing out to the tribe. I was uh, up at the time that evening when she put it out, and I knew that was going to be some kind of massive event. And I also knew that for a social selling perspective, it was going to be something that would be a good case study. So I followed it. I did a lot of research around it, and then I tweaked it, pulled it out, and then made it applicable for e-commerce sale. So merchants often tell us, John, you hear this too frequently probably with your the work that you do, but merchants tell us frequently, smaller merchants, they don't get traction from social. They don't get any conversions from social. What, what would you say to them when they, when they tell That's you that? That's because you're trying to sell in social. I don't believe social is a great place to make sales. Social is a great place to engage an audience. Once you have that audience, then you can get them interested into your products, and it's just a whole funnel. It's a flow that you have to do. It's not a great place to post, hey, look at my stuff, buy it. You know, it's a great place to get engaged with people that are interested in the stuff that you sell and then get them where they know, like, and trust you. And once they trust you, they will buy from you. Is that true even for the most, the most routine consumer products? Say a consumer product that's in no way ex- necessarily exciting, you know, so it's just a, a just a, a disposable type product is it absolutely. true absolutely you know you know there's a company called Procter and Gamble that has made a billion 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 dollar business out of doing nothing but repeatable boring products that everybody else has on the shelf and all they've done is create a brand you've got to create a brand around those kind of products and this is how you do that certainly John, uh, switching gears, certainly you're a noted speaker, uh, but you're also an experienced merchant. Uh, could you could you tell us a little bit about your kind of your professional experience and how you how you came to e-commerce and how you came to sort of the social expertise that you have? Absolutely, man. Back in 2001, I was uh, in a, a period of financial craziness. I was on a job 
you know, working nine to five, and I thought I was going to be able to flip a house like everybody else was telling me. Oh, flip a house, you'll be rich. I'm like, okay, fine. So I bought a house, tried to flip it. It didn't flip. I got stuck with a second mortgage. I was on this single job, had one paycheck, and I had to find a way out. I started selling used products on eBay, and then I started doing, you know, retail arbitrage and selling those products on eBay. And, you know, long story short, after that, 2004, I left my job and went full-time in e-commerce and have not looked back. Um, I guess back in 2009, somebody asked me to start, you know, to, you know, would you come over and speak? And uh, that kicked off a whole nother kind of uh, segment of my life, which has been speaking, teaching, and training worldwide to people on e-commerce and social commerce and, you know, doing things with social media for sales. Because it's not about how many people like you. It's about how many people buy from you. So that's what I do. That's how I got started. <laughs> do, you, do you have an e-commerce? Uh, do you still sell e-commerce products now? or do you, are you? Yeah. Actually, we are the Shoestring King. So it's like shoestringking.com, and that's what I sell online. That is awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, so we're all anxious to hear you. We're anxious to meet you uh, in Dallas. Anything else for the listeners uh, who are contemplating attending the conference? Look, they need to get there. They need to register, register early before it all gets sold out. The key thing is you've got to think about getting together and being in a environment where you can be with people that understand and know your business like you do. Because many of us in this e-com world, we are in places and, you know, we're in a home office or we're in our other offices, and we don't get a lot of time to really network with people that are in our business. And that's one of the biggest things that you get out of a conference. You get to network with the people that are in your industry, plus you get to see all the latest and greatest tools and techniques that are out there by talking to the vendors and, of course, listening to those of us that have something that we're going to bring to you from the stage. So I think it's a great opportunity. Dallas, Texas, I can't wait because that's, the, you know, like my hometown. So, you know, that's where I grew up. I'm oh, is that right? To it. All right. Yeah, I grew up. I grew up right outside of Dallas, man. My dad lives down there, so I can't wait. That's awesome. Uh, for for listeners that want to visit your site, other than your e-commerce site, I know you've got a site that you uh, sort of run your consulting and speaking out of, and that site is. Uh, tell us that site once more. Yeah, just colderice.com, dot com. C o l d e r i c e. Or this is either or. My name John Lawson dot com. I just got that the other day, so. I'm trying to build that one up. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> I've had to buy okay. it. <laughs> well, Mr. Lawson, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Uh-huh.